Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to another Chilla's Art game. This one is called The Kidnap. You already know that if Chilla's Art has anything to do with these games, it's going to be a great time. So we're going to check it out right now. If you guys cool with that, down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Wait, this is how it starts off. There was literally no cutscene. It was just this. What? I'm coming. Where are you? There's a hammer. What do I do with that? Are you listening? Answer me! Whoa! Hi! Sarao! What do you think you're doing sitting in the corner? Hey, say something! Why can't I look up? Okay, I got the hammer. I'm shivering in me timbers. I'm so confused. Oh! Who the fuck was that? <laughs> that looked like a gabagool. July 3rd. No, that bitch was scary. That was scary hours right there. If that was a smile, I don't want it. Renya, elementary schoolboy. Oh no, I did it again. Oh, that's embarrassing. I need to go tell her who's her. And why do I have to go tell? Just put the blanket on top. Just leave. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't have to tell anybody. Renya? That's not Renya. Hey, mom, about the open class day. Shut up! Don't talk to me! So annoying! If only you guys weren't here! I should not have given birth to you! Goddamn, mom! Is that mom? Walking away with all that sass, mom. Oh, wait, that's mom. Okay, mom packing with all that sass, mom. Mom! I wet the bed. You're so annoying. Don't talk to me. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> Not only did I wet the bed, I, I just wet my undies, mom. You make me so nervous. That's what I would say if I was a little bitch boy. Good thing I'm not. Sis, I wet the bed. Oh, again? Bring your bed sheets. Okay. Mission objective. Go grab the bed sheets. I should not have them this close to my face, but it is what it is. I guess since it's my own pee, it's okay, right? But thank you, sister. I brought it. All right, then let's go downstairs together. I'll teach you how to do the laundry. Put the sheets in the laundry machine. Turn on the power once you put it in. You turn it on with that on button. Next, you need to press the start button. That's all you need to do. Easy enough, right? Ask me again if you forget. Okay, so just put it in, let it do its thing, and bada bing, bada boom, right? Okay, let me start that. Oh, whoops. Let me on that, and then let me start that. But what about the detergent, though? Oh, mom! Bye, mom, I love you! Did you get how to do it? From now on, you are responsible for the laundry, okay? Huh? What about mom? Mom's gone. Mom went to go get the milk this time. September 1st. So she's been gone for over a month. Like a month and a week. That's Renya. sad. Just leaving two kids on their own? Renya! Sis is calling for me. Okay, so it's just the two kids on their own. What you making? She's making ramen, huh? What is it, sis? Food is almost ready. So can you go hang the laundry? Okay. Dry clothes in the laundry machine. This definitely looks like a place where two people don't know how to cook. Just ramen everywhere, or you're a college student. But let me go get the clothes out, because that's my duty. I'm the laundry guy. Check me out. I don't like it when it fades to black on every single thing that I do. Dinner's ready! Come over soon! I'm coming! It is curry. I thought it was going to be ramen, but I fuck with curry. It's been a while, so I tried making curry. How is it? Yay, curry rice! I don't mind just having cup ramen again. I didn't mind just having cup ramen again. I don't want to burden our sister because she's going through some stuff too because her mom also left, not just me. What are you talking about? You're not going to get enough nutrients only eating ramen. Oh, my bad. I was just trying to make you feel okay. Sorry about that. But let me just eat my food. Why do I look like I have an old-ass hand? I thought I was an elementary school boy. You better not spill anything on those exam sheets. Then why the hell are they right there? Exam sheets? Whoa. You got a hundred on everything. You're amazing, sis. Bro, I have a grown man's hand. Right? I'm going to show mom. Who's going to tell her? Nah, that's actually a messed up situation. Is mom going to come home? Of course she's coming back. I'm sure she's going to be amazed when she sees these. The last thing that she said to us was that we're so annoying. I'm okay with just the two of us. 
I hope mom will be happy. That is so sad. Yeah. I knew Renya would also feel that way. I love eating my Google image of curry. Sis, you really love mom, don't you? Isn't it normal? We're all kids. Everyone loves their mother. Even if they're bad to us. Do we have to love our family if they're bad to us? I'm genuinely asking you all. But I'm here too, sis. I think you have to give love to the people that also love you back and don't want to hurt you. And they want to see you grow. I feel like if you have to love your family just because you're supposed to love your family, even if they treat you bad and they don't want to see you do good in life. I don't know about that. I feel like you're just setting yourself up to get hurt because they don't have your best interest at heart. I wonder if the clothes have dried. Let's put away the dried clothes. Yeah, what I'm trying to say about that, everybody, is that you know how it's always like, oh, if you don't have anybody, at least you have your family. But what if your family isn't good to you? What if your family's toxic? Then what? Put clothes in the drawer. Why am I scared right now? I'm freaked out for no reason. It's because it's a Chilla's art game. Hmm, she hasn't called me for today. I wonder if dinner's ready. Sister? Does she have a name? I don't think that she's ever said her name, huh? Is she even here? Or did she get kidnapped? Oh, crap. Sis? She's not cooking today. Where'd she go? Sis? Oh, crap. Where are you? Why is this scary? Where am I supposed to go? What the hell? Okay. Hopefully she's in her room. What? I don't see my sister! Mom's room? Not here either. Oh, god damn. Did she get kidnapped already? Nope. Did she go outside? Her shoes aren't here. I wonder where she's gone to at this time of day. It's raining pretty hard. Why at a time like this? I need to find her. My heart's beating fast for some reason. Shift run. Press E to call out. Sis! Sis! What is he saying? Is he saying Onichan? <laughs> I don't know if she can hear me while the wind's barking like this. But this is already creepy. I'm gonna find you, sis! Oh, fuck. Yeah, the wind is barking. This thing is woofing. She better not have gone to another house. Uh oh. Why did it get so dark? I'm scared. Sis? Where are you? September 8th. Oh, so she got kidnapped already. What? And then I just go to school like everything's cool? It's time to clean up, everyone. Please start your assigned cleanup duties. Sure. All right, so we got you on scrubbing duty and you on awkward dancing duty. And I guess I am on what duty? Mop duty, bitch boy duty. I get it, I get it. Okay, I feel it. I get the worst one of the bunch. Looks like I'm just sweeping up coke lines. All right, all done. I need to find my sister. Why am I doing this? Hey you, help me. Soji said, clean up. Clean up everybody everywhere. Cleaning is so dull. Let's just get it over with. I want to go home. Himawari said, Boys, stop messing around and clean. I'm done. Like, speak for yourself. I'm done. I swept the shit out of that. I should get a prize for that. Sari says, A disorderly room is a disorderly mind, is what my grandma always says. So we must clean properly. Girl acting like she's better than everybody because she has a grandma that says Dr. Seuss rhymes. Get out of here with that. Okay, I guess it's class time now. These cutscenes are happening really fast. It feels really choppy. Kind of rushed in a way. Teacher says, Attention, everyone. Please be quiet. Everybody's quiet. Like, what are you talking about? You're the loudest person in this room. We will begin our end of day meeting. Everyone listening, please do not follow strangers. On the way home. Be wary of suspicious adults. Hey, y'all. Listen up. There's a clown out there. So watch out for that, too. Everybody quiet down. 
It was them! They were the ones talking! Alright, let's say our greetings. Everyone stand up. Goodbye, and please get home safely. Sayonara. Goodbye! Sayonara! Sayonara, everybody. See you tomorrow. Hajima mashite. We were talking about walking home together. Where'd the three of them go? So I need to find Kaiji, I need to find Kohime, and I need to find Masahiro. Who? Are you any of the three people that I need to find? Excuse me? No? Alright. Asaka says, I lent my umbrella to Masahiro. I haven't gotten it back. Aw, shucks. Sorry. Please be one of the people. Mitsuki is not one of the people. My mom and my sister make dinner together for us. And it's always delicious. I wonder what today's dinner is. I don't know. Maybe some hambagu steak? Hambagu steak? I sure hope so. Well, I hope it's not. I hope your mom farts in your dinner tonight. I need to find somebody with an umbrella. Are you one of the three? You look like you're one of the three. What's up with the clown Kiyomichi was talking about earlier? Apparently, he shows up on the way home. Like a suspicious person? I guess, but I heard he doesn't really do anything. Who are you? Nasoshigi said, I heard that the clown targets people when they're alone. I see. Have you seen the clown? I sometimes feel his presence. You should be careful too, Renya. I feel like I found the clown right over here. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro's face is not complete. Who are you? Yoshimasa. Huh? What do you want? It's nothing. It's nothing. Stop looking at me like that with those eyes. Sumugi! Huh. You know about the clown rumor? I don't know. Kiyomichi was saying earlier, but once you see the clown, he apparently follows you home and breaks in without permission. Scary, isn't it? That is scary. And I feel like we are going to be the one running into the clown, but there's somebody with an umbrella. No. Hey, go give this umbrella back to Osaka. Okay. Are you the buddy? You're not the buddy. The heck? Okay. I need to give this back to Asaka. Asaka is the person that's sitting at the desk. Where the hell are all my friends? Kaiji, Kohime, and Asaka? Nashigi. Bro, get out of my face, dude. Asaka is right here. Asaka, I got your umbrella back. From Masahiro? I can't believe it. Who would make someone else return something they borrowed? I don't even get a thank you. Can you rip one into him? Uh, sure. I don't even know what that means exactly, but sure. So we found one of the friends. I actually don't know who it was. Was it the person who gave me the umbrella? Or was it the person I gave the umbrella to? It's you, right? You're my buddy that's gonna walk home with me? Did you give the umbrella back to Osaka? Yep. All right, let's head out. I'll be by the entrance. Hold on, I need to find the other two people. They gotta be somewhere here. Ew, stinks! Run away! Somebody blast? Who? Was it you? It was you! You look like somebody that took a number two! When they have the faces like that, that means don't talk to me. When the brim's low, it means mind your business. It's gym etiquette. Like if somebody's wearing a hat, that means don't talk to me. Are you Kaiji? Yes! Kiyomichi calls me weird. Am I weird? Yeah. <laughs> You're not weird. I appreciate that. Let's head home once Kohime and Masahiro are ready. There's Kohime. Huh? That's odd. Where'd it go? What's wrong? I'm looking for my eraser. Yoshimasa might know something about it. I'll ask Yoshimasa. Thanks. Who the fuck is Yoshimasa? That's Mitsuki. No. Hambagu steaks. No. You're not Mashushashi. Who is the person? Is it you? Ah! Uh, if I talk to you one more freaking time, what you smiling so hard at? There you go. Are you looking for Kohime's eraser? Yep. I remember seeing you lending it to Kiyomichi, who sits next to Kohime during class. Kiyomichi never returns the things he borrows, so maybe he left it in his desk? All right, thank goodness I have GPS on the desk. It was right next to hers. Come on now. It's Kihime's eraser. I found it! My eraser! You found it! Thanks! Alright, then I'll be waiting by the entrance. Asaka was mad at you. Yeah, one of you. Asaka? Yeah. Did you do something, Masahiro? I didn't do anything. 
Yeah, you did. I saw you. You did the, the thing. Then why is she angry? Stop asking stupid questions, Kaiji. It's not unnecessary. Yeah, it's not. So stop talking about it. She's not gonna get angry without a reason. Because I returned the umbrella to Osaka. Of course she's angry. It's Osaka we're talking about. Yeah, but... Man, we're an awkward group, aren't we? I feel like we don't know how to walk in sync. You guys are assholes. I would rather walk alone and have the clown follow me home. So, are we gonna talk about anything else? Or are we just gonna walk in silence? Kaiji, why are you wearing indoor school shoes? Oh yeah, you're not wearing your outside shoes. Huh? Well, it's a hassle switching to my regular shoes. Is that so? Can we talk about something else? You're really strange, Kaiji. Weird guy. What oh, weird guy? Yeah, so funny. Wait, is somebody watching us? I don't hate it, my guy. Masahiro hit him with the my guy. Yeah, my guy. Yeah, my bro. Hold on, was somebody watching us back there? Hey, old lady. Obasan. That's what they call grandmas, right? The heck are you looking at? What are you looking at, grandma? What's down there? Oh, hey, don't walk down there, everybody. Come on. Everybody keep it cool. Let's play hide-and-seek here. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, let's all play. No going outside the park, okay? Let's play rock, paper, scissors to decide who's it. Alright, ready? Throw rock. Let me throw up the scissors. Let me throw this up one time. Ooh, I lost. What? I'm the only loser. Oh, well. I meant then. Alright, I'm going to count. 20. 19. 18, 17, 1, 0. Are you ready? <laughs> not yet. Are you ready? <laughs> We're ready. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, let's see. Who are these assholes? Good thing we don't have a time limit. Oh, I see somebody's head. Who's that? I found you, Kaiji. I'm a grass. I'm not Kaiji. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Next time I'll blend in even better. Become one with the nature. I'm a grass. Shut up. I think somebody's on top of the slide. Right? Oh, look. Somebody's right there. That's creepy. Just standing behind the house like that. I found you, Kohime. Ah, oh, shucks. I'm out. I thought this was a good spot. Let's go find the others. Okay, let's see. Can I go up here? Nope, I can't go up there. Who the heck is that? There's a random man right there. He don't look like a clown, but shit's really funny. That's creepy. A grown man staring at kids in a park. And he has no, like, ties to them. He's not, like, their dad or anything. That's weird. That's weird. I don't like that. That's a no me gusta. Where's the third person at? Hold on. Let me see if I can find, like, a yellow hat again or something. Wait! The kid's right there! Yo! <laughs> I found you, Masahiro. Dang, you found me. Sweet, I'm last. It was worth climbing the tree. Was it worth all the splinters, though? Was it really? Let's do it one more time. Hey, hey! Let me join you! Huh? What's up with this guy? Hey, hey, you guys! Can I join you all? Hey, what should we do, Renya? Sure. No, we can't play together. You're a grown-ass man. Go home to your wife and kids. Or just go home. Hey, don't say that. Hey, what should we do, Renya? No, we can't play together. Hey, don't say that. Hey, what should we do, Renya? What the f So I really can't make a choice? Sure, I guess. Thanks. Oh, well. Then, old man, you're it. Okay. You're an adult, so you can count inside the container. Start counting. All right. Wow. That is weird. Oh, lock his ass in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yo, this kid is dope! <laughs> hey, now's the chance. Let's get out of here. Uh, is that okay? We don't want to stick around with a creepy old man like that. Come on, let's run. Hurry. Run. Oh, that's awesome. Yo, I did not expect them to do that. That is legit. Because they actually think smartly. They're not just like, yeah, let's play with this random old man. They're like, hey, lock this bitch in here. And let's get out of here. <gasps> um, okay. I guess he wasn't really locked in there. I think we're clear. I think we lost that old man. 
Was that okay? What? Then why don't you go and talk to that guy alone? Why would I? Then let's head home. Let's do it. But he's just right there. Would that old dude from earlier count as a suspicious person? Even if it's not him. What if? What if what? What does a suspicious person even do? Kidnap? What do they do after kidnapping you? Probably ask for money? Oh no. Oh money. I feel like he's gonna pop around the corner or something. My family's rich, so I gotta watch out then. My house doesn't have much money, so we should be safe. I'm trying to read the subtitles, everybody, so if somebody's like lurking somewhere in the background, I'm not really paying attention. Hey, Renya needs to stop by the shop. I didn't say that. Hey, now, come here real quick. Hey, Renya, go steal something. Okay, fine. I'd rather not. This is so random. What are you, a chicken? No, I'm not. I'm just thinking logically. I'm trying to be a good kid. Then go grab something. I'm running out of food at home. I guess I gotta... Oh, okay. So I gotta go steal something? That's so weird. So I gotta steal something from the store? Let's try to grab some stuff without getting spotted by Granny. Granny? Granny? God damn, Granny? Really? <gasps> um... Oh, God. Are you... Are you... You're the... <laughs> that was... You know, my friend did that. That wasn't me. I was will I was already about to hide. I had the most amazing hiding spot. That was not me, okay? And Granny, you need to crack that back one time. I didn't know. I just wanted to see what would happen if she caught me. Kind of creepy that that man was here, huh? Is he still here? I don't know where he went. Steal that? What? Bro, she has 20-20 vision. She's like 90 years old. I'll steal this, though. Give me that. Oh. Okay. I stole it. I think. Did I? Oh, nice. Look at this freaking guy, though. Oh, shit. Bro's creepy. I don't know why my heart's beating so fast. All right, got that. The fuck you looking at, man? You gonna snitch on me? Snitch on me then. Snitch on me then, see what happens. That lady, oh, that lady, bro. <laughs> There's no way she's looking at me, right? Yep. Okay, I guess she's like the owner of the store or something. Cause ain't no way. Wait, how do I get out of here? Excuse me, sir? How do I steal? Can somebody please tell me how I steal all these items? Granny? Granny's not gonna do shit. Granny's not about that life. How do I get out of here, though? Oh, sweet. I knew you had it in you! We'll keep this between us. Hey, we saw that guy entering the store. Are you okay? I'm fine. Glad to hear. All right, let's skedaddle. Hey, that's my line. I say let's skedaddle. How did those people in that shop not see me steal shit? Honestly. Like, I was stealing that so openly. I almost wanted to get caught. I just wanted to see what would happen. But they're not really gonna do anything. I'm so glad that I have them with me. <gasps> oh my. This is my house. You seem kind of depressed recently, don't you? Let me know if I can help you with anything. We're best friends, right? See ya. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. This is my stop later. Yep, see you later. See you tomorrow. Bro, these conversations are so weird. Is it just me and you know? Oh boy. Oh, we're all splitting up? Are you coming with me? Okay, thank you. Oh, I thought I was alone. I honestly thought I was alone. I got scared for a second. Speaking of kidnapping, do kidnappings happen in rural places like this? I don't think so. Bro, why are you so close? Right? Whew. I'm so relieved someone finally agrees with me. But I hope someone weird shows up. It'll definitely make things more fun though, not gonna lie. That's not fun at all. Why are you so close? Have you heard about the clown sightings? Everyone's talking about it. Not me, I'm not talking about it. Scary stuff. I'm just making sure that creepy guy's not following. Hey, I've seen a clown. What? Please tell me you're lying. Huh? No comment. I'm lying. I am. I haven't seen any clowns. The only clown that I see is in the reflection in the mirror. Oh, well, that's a different story for a different time. Hey, have you seen my sister? I haven't seen her in like one week. Eight days, matter of fact. Hey, about your sister. 
I haven't seen her recently. What happened? I don't know. She suddenly disappeared. Huh? Is she okay? I think so. My mom apparently works at a child guidance center. She takes care of some elementary school kids just like us. If you need anything, just come over to my house. Alright. But recently, mom seems very busy. I haven't been able to talk to her that much either. Well then, I'm heading home. Bye bye. No, please don't. Please, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. <laughs> it's just me and my chimpoos. Shift to run. <laughs> I bet. Oh man, I am running my ass off. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what are you doing? Is this dude really Michael Jackson moonwalking? That was kind of smooth. I'm not gonna lie. He literally is a smooth criminal, because I know this dude is up to no good. What the? Is this my house? This is not my house. Hey, whose car is that? Hey! Oh, crap. What the? Um, that's not good. Why is that random car just stopped right there? These random birds. Okay, let me just go in my house. I don't feel safe in this house, though. This house looks creepy. I'm home! I have to wash my hands first. Right here? Okay. I'm freaked out. I don't like this one bit. I should put the snacks on the table. The snacks that you stole? I don't feel good about eating these snacks. Because I stole the shit out of these. Let's go change clothes. I have a cat? Tama? What's up, Tama? Okay, well, at least we have a cat. So I kind of feel good about that. And I wasn't trying to rhyme either. Are my clothes here? Nope. Change clothes. I don't understand the story of this. Because if your sister's missing and your mom walked out on you, wouldn't people know those things? You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't people at school, like, the teachers be like, uh, where are your parents? Where are your sister? What is happening right now? I guess I'm gonna do some homework. <laughs> I'm about to fail. I'm gonna make sure this kid doesn't graduate. Look at this. I don't know what this is. D? R? Okay. Uh, do I do this? Please tell me that's all I do, because I am L stupid, though. Did I do it? Oh, I have to make the letters. Okay. Sweet. Okay, everybody. I'm so sorry that you have to witness this. I really don't care. Does it even matter? Because this is not a math game. This is a scary game. <laughs> oh, my! <laughs> Who let that bitch-ass clown in here? Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Am I supposed to look for this? I should feed the fish. When was the last time I fed them? They're dead. I'm pretty sure the cat ate them. I'm pretty sure somebody ate them. What kind of fish are those? We're out of fish food. A few of them are dead. What do I do then? I guess I give them some of this? A few of them are dead. Oh. I guess I don't give them ramen? Do fish like ramen? I don't know, I guess we're about to find out. I guess I thought about feeding the fish and I was like, you know what? I'm hungry, forget those fish. Cup ramen really hits the spot. I guess it's time to play some video games. What kind of system you got? That is, I don't know what that is. Play video games, sure. I mean, what else am I gonna do? I'm playing a game within a game. Stage one? What is this? All right. Okay, I got that. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, punish these ghosts with these little symbols? Let me see. Let me make sure that's what I do. Because if that's not what I do, this is going to get real awkward. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Got you. Where's the last one go? Oh. Oh, wait. That didn't work? Oh. Oh, I get it. There's one candle here. Two... Three, four. I'm not that dumb, everybody. 
I think what I do with this, I smash those rocks. Like I smashed this game's mom. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. So I'm not that dumb. I do do things sometimes. What do I do now? Oh, okay. I guess I just do me. That's what I do. Who's that? Who's there? Who wants this? Uh... Are you kidding me? What the heck? This man's a dork. He's just over here running around my house, acting up for no reason. I've got your sister. If you don't want to lose her, break all the balloons, loser. I'm the loser? Oh, shit! These balloons? Wait. Oh, come on. There's no way. Hold left click to grab, right click to throw, and R to return ball? Is that the ball? Is this your ball? What are you... Wait, does this pop balloons? Please tell me. Oh! Yeah, I'm fucked. There's no way I'm popping all these. Or am I? Oh yeah, I'm popping all these. This dude was kicking his toes too. Like, there's no way you can make that look cool. Just a grown man kicking his feet like that? There's no way you can make that look cool. I'm sorry. I did it. Right? Please tell me I did it. Come on. Look, you can see the toes. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this dude's so nasty. All right. Oh. Um. Oh, my God. Nah, there's no way. I'm screwed. I'm so fucked. Or am I? Bro, wait. I got two minutes. Return ball. Does that thing, like, actually help me pop balloons? Hold on, let me see. Ah! Okay. I kind of like doing it myself. Makes me feel more accomplished. So let me pop these things. Bro, we only got a minute 30. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I'm way too into this. This dude's laughing his ass off because I'm such a freaking loser just popping these balloons. Do this. Oh, nice. Let's pick it up. Just throw those. I guess that works, right? Oh, what is this? What? Is that it? Oh my God! Oh, I'm. Oh, hey, 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 how are you? This dude wants to be it so bad. I've had enough of this guy. Fuck this pinche pendejo, man. Look at this bitch. He's on the second floor hanging on. I bet you he's swinging his toes just like he was downstairs. Hate this bitch. I only have 30 seconds. I need to stop being a hater. Got it? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Got that. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not going to see my sister. Fuck. Come on. Got it. No! Not like this! I'm fucked! There's only a few more seconds. Come on, Jay! Don't, don't, don't! Oh, shit. I'm dead. What? What just happened? Bro? Bro, bro? Who are you? Like, I don't understand. Okay, the door unlocked. What? You really had my sister here the whole time? What is wrong with you? This is not what I was expecting. I'm not going to lie to you all. I didn't expect like a clown to be kidnapping people. I thought like that creepy man was going to be the one kidnapping people. Unless the creepy man is the clown. But then again, it's much creepier if the creepy man is just the one kidnapping instead of somebody in a clown suit. But I said Tama. Tama? Oh, there you are, Tama. Oh, never mind. Tama? Wait. Okay, so I guess I was just like 
hallucinating? That's gotta be it, right? Maybe I just fell asleep. And then I was imagining the whole clown thing. Cause there's no way, the clown was everywhere. It was like some, like, paranormal Hi. shit. Tom, are you there? Tama! Hey, yo, Tama! Oh, somebody came in. Oh, dude. What the heck? Somebody came in and took a shit all over my floor? Rude. Oh, no. I was expecting something to happen there, and my butt cheeks were already clenched, so... Yeah, because that was so random, because somebody came in and just had, like, skid marks all over my floor, and then it led to the closet, so I was like, alright. So this guy did kidnap us. Me and my sister. What the heck? Alright, how are we getting out of here, sis? 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 Talk to me. It's me, bro. It's me, bro, bro. You know the one that wets the bed? Where am I? Looks like I'm not tied down. Is there a way out of this room? This is where I was having that nightmare. Yeah, when I got the hammer. But then again, there was like a creepy lady. Oh no, please don't. Don't do this to me. Okay. Oh fuck. Come on, come on. Before somebody gets me. Go, 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 go. But I have to get my sister, don't I? Alright, let's see where she is. Sis? Oh, that's my room. Sis? There you are. Sis! Sis! She can't hear me. I have to get to her room. What? They gave her music and not me? Oh, fuck. It's a serial killer band. Oh, no, he's back. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's do this. Go meet sister. No, go rescue sister. That's what I gotta do. Come on. Sis, let's get out of here. What do you think you're doing? I'm the one who asked mister to kidnap me. What? Wait, what? And I had him kidnap you too, but why? It was all my plan to get mom to look at us. What a twist. What a twist! The sister is not the kidnapper. She's the kidnappy. Actually, I said that wrong. She's not the kidnappy. She's a co-conspirator as the kidnapper. It's the perfect plan to get mom to love me again. But what about me? What about us as kids? Like, this is psychologically damaging. What is going on? He's coming up. I gotta go. Wait, what? What did that say? I gotta go. What is happening? I'm fucked. Oh. Please, let me get out of here. Why am I scared? I think the music is making me scared. Okay. I think I gotta get out of here. Hold on. Oh, shit. Bro, this is creepy. the heck? Oh shit. Oh, this is bad. Why is there blood right there? Please tell me that's also staged. That's like fake blood. That's artificial. That's digital. Shit. <gasps> Whoa! Who the hell is that? Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, that's good. Let me get the hell out of here. Come on, come on. Bro, hurry up. Come on, 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 come on. Don't go Whoa! Where are you going? Your sister's gonna be worried. How did you... You were just knocked out. Bro, everything's so fake in this game. 
What? Just relax. But Mr. listens to everything I say. Don't you do anything weird. It's the only way to get mom to love me again. Okay, fine. Wow. This is disturbing. I think the fact that the sister planned this whole thing makes it even more disturbing. Sis is acting strange. What should I do? Go to sleep? Why is there random bloodstains on the floor? Obey my sister. No. <laughs> no. It's just like, nah, I don't think I will. I can't rely on sister. I need to get help. Go. Should I really go? Yeah! I have to get out without being spotted by mister or my sister. Okay, so I can't be spotted by mister or sister. Got you, got you. I am the master of stealth. Watch me, everybody. Watch me do these things. That's my middle name. The master. Oh, wait. Here we go. Yeah, now I'm the master. All right, let's see. Oh, God! Did I say I was the master? I didn't say I was the master. I said I was the little bitch. Okay, so I think that they only stay on the first floor. So the guy's coming up, right? No, he's not. Okay. Oh shit. What the heck? Turn off TV. How do I do that? How do I turn off the TV? I guess I go this way? Ah. Requires a battery. Oh, fuck. Alright. Hmm. Uh, let's see. TV remote. Turn the TV off. What? It turned off by itself. Where's the remote again? Uh, I need the battery. Oh, I got the key. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Is the guy here? He is. What? Where's that go? Oh! I was gonna say, where's that girl at? What's up with all these blood stains on the floor, though? That's what I don't understand. Like, there's buckets of blood. What does that mean? I need to wait for this guy. There you go. Oh, there's another, like, way over here. Okay, I need to find a battery, too. That's where I just was. He's over there. Okay. Please don't turn around. Please do not turn around. What? Wait. <laughs> Why is blood coming from the ceiling? I hit him again. How long am I going to keep him in that room? Sarao has grown up. I know he's a kind boy. I'm a terrible mother. I'm so sorry, Sarao. I'm sorry that I can't control my anger. You look like him the more you grow. Someday, I hope you'll understand. Bro, I feel bad for the kids. I feel bad for the sister, like she just wants her mom to come back. But this is not the way to go about it. Let me crouch down. Let me get my eagle on. But yeah, I do feel bad for the kids, honestly. Oh, nice. Let me close that. <gasps> Battery. What? Whose leg was that? <laughs> Am I really gonna go up there? What in the grudge is this? So somebody's leg just went up here and I'm just gonna follow it? Whoa! Who is that? Is that the mom? What is happening? Bro, what is going on? That doesn't make any sense. Go back. I mean, I guess there's something else here for me. Besides that jump scare? What was that about? Yeah, there's somebody's chopped up corpse here. I guess I'm going back. That was so weird. 
okay. I feel like I'm missing something because I don't fully understand. The sister asked this guy to kidnap the two kids so the mom would come looking for them. But is this guy like a serial killer to begin with? I have no idea. Okay. Let me just go this way. That is so weird though. Okay, so what I need to do is turn off the TV. There you go. What? It turned off by itself. Where's the remote again? I don't know. Why don't you go over that way? Perfect. Okay, got the keys. And then turn on the radio. But first, I need to put the key or battery, right? Huh? What's that? Oh shit, I don't go that way. Oh fuck. Oh my god. What? How did you see me? That? I'm not going up there. That's something that I'm not gonna do. Why would I want to relive that jump scare? I'm good off that. This is the problem that I'm having though. Like, I turn off the TV. And then where do I hide? What? It turned off by itself. Where's the remote again? Yeah, and then I put the battery. Actually, I get the keys. And then... What do I do? What do I do? Hold on. Put the battery. Turn the radio on. Can I go this way? There you go. Perfect. I cannot believe I did that. That was way too freaking easy. This guy better not be behind me again. Go. Go. Go! What the... Okay. Whew. Did I have to ring the bell too? I was like, bring, bring! Letting them know I was out of here. Come on, man. Oh, crap. No! Oh, no! These are ass controls, too! Alright, let's go. If that guy gets in his serial killer van, his wraps. It's beef currents for me, everybody. Can I pedal faster? Can I pedal with some sense of urgency, please? Oh, see, I told you. When the serial killer van comes out, it's wraps! Oh, shoot. Shift. I'm shifting. I'm shifting my ass off. Come on. Lights. Go, 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 go. I don't want to do that whole thing again. No! Come on! Holy crap, this is intense. No. Please don't. Right behind me, everybody. I'm dead. I feel like I should have hit somewhere. Come on, faster, dude. I mean, I guess I'm pedaling as fast as I can. What house should I go to? Masahiro's house. I guess Masahiro? Just go straight. Straight to Masahiro's. I feel like if I make some turns, it's gonna get weird. My friend's parent immediately called the police. Sis tried to explain everything to the police, but they brushed her off and just took the mister was arrested as the kidnapper. And then the police the contacted our mother. I feel like I had a stroke reading that. I apologize for the inconvenience caused. Oh, mom. She actually did come. Oh no, it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure the two of them must have been terrified. Please take care of them. I'm glad there were no injuries. Come on, you two. We're heading home. Mom, where were you? Where did you go? So she just disappears and then once the police contact her, she actually finally comes? That makes no sense. Sis, you seem kind of happy. I've seen happier. She's alright. <laughs> you might be right. Well, because mom came. That is sad, though. That really is sad. The sister just wanted the mom's love. And she had to go with a circumstance like this to make it happen. Which is extremely fucked up. Because you don't want to neglect your kids like that. That's the worst thing of all. Kids really don't deserve it. Ugh. Why do you guys keep being a nuisance? I've never been called by the police before. How embarrassing that was. I don't have time for this. Why do I have to go through something like this for some kids I don't give a damn about? Then why did you even have kids? Don't ever trouble me like this again. Wow. And that's what I look like? Bullcut haired fuckboy? Wait, the mom's leaving again? Why? Retry. 
That wasn't the right thing to do? Oh shit. Before escape, after escape. I didn't know that wasn't the right thing to do. Okay. I guess I made the wrong decision. My bad, everybody. I feel like no matter what, whether you plan to have kids or not, if they're in your life, you should still be a good parent to them. Even if the circumstances aren't in your favor, you should always be a good parent to your kids. So we went to Masahiro's house last time. Let's go to Kaiji's house. Let's go to the right. Because it just says go left, and I don't trust that yet. My friend's parent immediately called the police. Sis tried to explain everything to the police, but they just brushed her off and took the mister was arrested as kidnapper. And then the police contacted our mother. So am I supposed to get some evidence? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because the police contacted... Okay, I think I'm supposed to get some evidence at the kidnapper's house. I think I was missing something. You know what I'm thinking that I have to do? I think I have to go into the attic and then see the dead body in the attic. And then that's going to cause the police to not just brush it off. Because I escaped the house, but this time I didn't go in the attic. So I think that's what I got to do. I got to let them know that there was a body inside the house. Let's see if I'm right, everybody. My friend's parents immediately called the police. Sis tried to explain everything to the police. But they brushed her off and just took the mister was arrested as a kidnapper. And then the police to contacted our mother. Wait, did I not do it right again? So maybe I just have to obey my sister. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go to sleep. Obey my sister. Should I really? Yes. Because escaping doesn't seem to do shit. It's been two weeks. I listened to my sister and decided to live in the kidnapper's house. I didn't want any trouble, so I stopped going to school. I can't really agree with my sister's plan, but... I trust her. Renya, I'm making curry and rice, so come help out. Maybe I actually find some evidence here that the kidnappers are actually doing some things. Oh, wait. Is that the police? It's still cooking. <gasps> Maybe this is what I do. Okay. This is probably the right choice. So I guess escaping was not the right choice. Wait, you want me to chop this up? What do you want me to do with this knife? Okay. I guess I chop it up. There you go. And we add it to the pot. There was a police car outside the house. So maybe I can call for help. Thanks! Good job cutting the vegetables. Sounds like someone's here. Renya, can you answer it? Yes, I sure can. That is actually terrifying. That looked like a panda with a knife or something. But I'm coming! Just give me a second. That is definitely the police. I am snitching so hard. Hi! This is the police. Yes, I know. I spoke to the police about the whole situation. I didn't want anyone to get in trouble, but they didn't take my words seriously because I'm just a child. The mister ended up getting arrested as a kidnapper, and the police seemed to be contacting our mother. What? Okay, so I guess that ending didn't work either. I'm so confused about what's happening right now. Yeah, this is the same ending that I've been getting. Okay, let me just try going left. car just skirt to the left with me whoa huh oh shit what just happened uh oh oh shit what the heck? oh my god oh dude don't 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 i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that oh my god fuck Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. I rushed into Kohime's house. I didn't know where else to go. I remember her mother worked at a place where they took care of troubled kids. Kohime's mother listened carefully to what I had to say. She agreed to shelter me and my sister for a few days and even went to the mister's home to pick my sister up. I heard my sister had resisted at first, but eventually calmed down and left the mister's house. Kohime's mother also met the mister and understood that he meant no harm. However, from here on out, she firmly told us to leave him alone. She then suggested we both go to foster care. We were happy to be given the choice. Huh. Okay. Well, what about the dead body in his house, though? Can we talk about that? Can we talk about that random chopped up body in the attic? No? We can't talk about that? Okay. I guess it's forbidden. We mustn't talk about it because it's forbidden. Welcome home. How was school? A lot happened, huh? 
But it sure is comfortable here. Come to think of it, you were always afraid of mom. There's mom right there. I will watch over these kids. I am their mother. But you hated us. Isn't that what you said? We're like a nuisance to you. Saikiko, Renya, we're leaving. There's no way this is a good ending. There's no way. Oh, crap. How did you guys end up like this? Where were you? Saikiko, answer me. Um, uh, Mr.'s house. I asked him to kidnap us. What? You two? What was he thinking? What the hell is wrong with him? Mom, no, he's not a bad person. Shut up, you be quiet, Sakiko. You have the nerve to kidnap my children and cause me so much trouble, huh? Getting involved in other people's family affairs? These kids can live on their own, goddammit. That's it, I've had enough. I'm going to the mister's house. What are you gonna do? You're gonna kill him? Hey! So you're the kidnapper. Hey, turn around and face me. How dare you kidnap my child? They're my kids for God's sake. You have no authority over them. These are my children. I am their mother. I'm the only one who's allowed to do whatever I want with them. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Children need to just simply listen to what their parents tell them. I don't agree with that at all. That is what happiness is for kids. You would never understand that. Hey, are you listening to me? Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Bro, that was the weirdest. What the? So many twists. Twist on twist. There was a what a twist for you. What a twist. Renya smile. Okay, so we have an after credit scene. Oh, they looked in the attic. Right? Yeah, whose body was that? I thought that was the mom of Renya and the sister. But it wasn't. It was a body that was there for a while. Wait, what? Okay, I'm assuming that's the only ending in this game. Because I tried every other option, and that was the only one that had a legit ending. So, I guess I'll give my thoughts about what I thought about this game. I thought it was, like, really, like, choppy. I thought the story was kind of weird. It was kind of like, oh, your mom left. Now your sister left. Now you have to go home with your friends. Oh, creepy man is at the park with you that wants to play hide and seek. And then your friends want you to steal shit. And then all of a sudden you make it back. Now there's a clown outside your house. And then all of a sudden the clown has your sister. And then now your sister says that the kidnapper is working with her. So the mom can uh, try to find the kids. And then you're trying to escape. And then all this other stuff. It felt like just a bunch of things thrown together. And it was really overwhelming. And it's not one of my favorite Chilla's art games. I felt like it wasn't even that scary. It was more kind of just confusing, I guess. And that's how I honestly feel about it. The jump scares, I kind of felt like I knew where the jump scares were going to be. Um, so I was kind of just like, alright, something creepy is going to happen here. And I was right. I think one thing that Chilla's art does that catches me off guard is the characters do this like unrealistic movements where they're like really fast in your face. Or they just do things that don't seem humanly possible. And that scare me because the faces look realistic, but they do like these weird cartoony things that just make me scared and i think that's the charm of chilla's art games i guess i think it's like one of the things that make their games scary is the fact that these realistic faces do these like weird freaky unrealistic things and in the kidnap i feel like the jump scares were things that didn't make any sense like the cat jump scare and then the one in the attic where the body just flies at you i feel like that was just there to make you jump instead of it being part of the story that made it make sense, if that even makes sense. I don't know. It's not one of my favorite Chilla's art games, but every time Chilla's art does come out with something, I always want to play it because I love their games. 
but this one was like middle of the pack for me i will say though that that ending was extremely dark and i didn't expect that to happen i also didn't expect the game to have that many twists and turns to it and the thing that i feel bad about the most is the kids because that's stuff that actually happens in the real world where the parents neglect the kids and the kids just want the parents attention they just want their love and the parents don't reciprocate that they don't care for the children they don't want to take the time to you know spend time with their kids or you know nurture them or just give them time i think that's the most important thing for parents is that they should give their kids the time and the love the parent in this game the mom she wanted nothing to do with these kids and she's the one who brought them in this world so at the end of the day the people that i feel sorry for the most are the kids in this game the sister and the brother but the brother seemed to like the killing of the mom so i don't know if i feel bad for the brother but i definitely feel bad for the sister even though she's the one who staged the whole kidnapping and she got some kind of weirdo to be the one to do it but i do feel bad for the kids at the end of the day because the reason why they did it is something that you do feel bad for and i do feel bad for them so yeah if y'all enjoyed the kidnap if you enjoyed me playing through it make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!